Hello farmers, uh, this is Menit Farms here in uh, Wijiri. Uh, you will remember uh, our last video at this point, at this particular spot I'm standing. Uh, we had come to implement uh, the business plan that is for three years and that was uh, in December on 23rd. And, uh, Today we mark uh, four months uh, of uh, implementing. We have been able to put uh, certain strategies in place. We have been able to uh, plant some pastures. We have been able to set up uh, different paddocks, like this paddock is for the maternity, those that have given birth, and those that are expecting, so they can be given uh, special treatment in terms of uh, supplements. Uh, we also have uh, the sick bay and. Uh, the, the other pain is for, for the bucks to avoid uh, inbreeding. And uh, you realize that uh, we had more of the local breeds at this farm, Mifugo farm, uh, and we have been able to continuously improve uh, the grade of the animals. You can see that we have uh, more crosses now, and today we are happy to, uh, in the process of implementing the business plan, we are happy to uh, bring the pure breeds uh, that also fit very well in our breed bank strategy. Uh, so we are going to uh, start uh, improving the breeds uh, using the pure breeds that we have brought today. Yeah, so uh, we have always told you that uh, it is always good to prepare. Uh, you cannot bring the animals and then you start uh, outsourcing pastures. That is why uh, in our implementation strategy, we chronologically uh, put systems in place of uh, having pastures first. You, you realize we have now enough pasture that we are making hay from. We are also making silage. And uh, at the end of the day, we are not going to lack uh, pastures for the animals that we have brought. So, uh, dear farmers, be encouraged uh, to uh, journey with us uh, in the process of uh, standardizing the goat value chain. Uh, about the structures, uh, you realize that uh, we have uh, put this black polythene, apparently. It is because we have been uh, disturbed by the rains. Uh, but ideally, uh, you should be able to see that uh, the structures have uh, enough aeration. And so, and in the, an inch of the structures, we have uh, uh, facilities like the kids' pen, where kids are being managed and also we have uh, uh, different uh, uh, facilities like the water trough, we have the mineral block, we have the feeders, hay feeders that are low cost for the farmers. So we try to uh, make uh, low cost uh, structures so that we can uh, put more emphasis uh, on the breeds basically because these are the ones that uh, generate the money. So you should be able to come to uh, this place here and get uh, the basics uh, in as far as goat farming is concerned. Thank you and journey with us today at Minute Farms. <laughs>